right, reporting live from Jane Equipment. Today we're going to be talking about the CA Technologies Tomcat spray gun. This is an economical, general purpose, conventional spray gun. So what does that mean? So the reason it's economical is because this gun actually comes in under $200. This gun is, I think right now, selling for $199.95 on jnequipment.com. Um, and at that price, it's a really great value because it is assembled in the United States. Uh, CA Technologies is right out of Colorado. Um, and this gun can actually spray thin materials like stains, dyes. And, uh, it could spray medium materials like lacquers. And it could even spray heavy bodied materials, um, you know, high solids. It can do um, abrasives if you set up the right carbide, you know, tip. It could spray adhesives um, as long as you're set up right. Um, so at an under $200 price point, you get a gun that can really spray a wide variety of materials. Um, you know, you just got to make sure you have your air cap needle and nozzle set up for your right material. But this one gun, this gun could spray most materials. Um, and that's why it's also general purpose. So now we're seeing it's economical because the price point, but also because of what it can do at that price point. It's, you know, has almost any application you throw at it, it's gonna be able to handle it. Uh, you just gotta get it set up right, make sure you're feeding it the right CFM, and um, it's gonna be able to give you amazing finishes because it is a conventional spray gun. So conventional spraying is at a higher pressure, uh, usually at a higher CFM also, and uh, you're able to get a really, 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 really fine finish out of this gun. You know, you can use this to do kitchen cabinets, fine finish woodwork. This gun will work for those applications. Um, you know, but obviously there has to be some drawbacks because it's a, it's a affordable $200 gun. You know, what's, what is the difference between this and a higher end spray gun? You know, why, you know, what's the difference, right? So the drawback is kind of one of its strengths also because when you're spraying conventional, you do have the ability to get a really great finish, but what you lose is transfer efficiency. And what that means is you get a lot of kind of overspray or material kind of blowing off in the wind. Um, you know, the transfer efficiency is lower than if you were spraying... Um, compliant, reduced pressure, HVLP, you know, um, those are, those styles of spraying give you a better transfer efficiency than conventional. So that's kind of the drawback there. Um, but, you know, this is a gun that I do recommend in, you know, a couple of different uh, instances. So the, the main instance I recommend this gun, it is if you have a production shop, this gun it's designed for production work. Um, if you have, um, you know, apprentices, this is a great gun for an apprentice. This is very rugged. It's going to handle a lot of abuse. If you've noticed that you're, you know, having to repair guns a lot, maybe people aren't taking care of the guns they're supposed to, this is a great gun for that, that shop, for those people. This is a real high-quality piece. It's really rugged. Um, if you look at mine, I'm going to try and... I mean, I got nicks and scratches all over mine. I'm trying to see if you could, I could show you any. I mean, kind of see it on the finish. I've got mine. It's hard to catch on the camera here. Uh, you can kind of see it here on this side. I'm all scratched up from banging it. Uh, still works. Still works great. Just got to keep it clean. Um, and like I said, I have no fear of dropping this gun, uh, you know, no, honestly, it's really rugged. It's a really rugged gun. So that's one good use for this gun. Um, the next use I really recommend is if you're a do-it-yourselfer, serious do-it-yourselfer or serious hobbyist, and you don't like, and you want to make sure the equipment you are buying for your hobby or for your projects is good equipment, this is a great gun because this one gun can do a lot of different stuff. So as you're tackling different jobs, picking up different stuff, this gun's going to be able to handle it. It's going to roll with you. Um, it's a great price point. You know, you're not investing $500 into a gun. Um, you know, you're only $200 in. It could probably do anything you need it to. 
Um, you know, you might have to change your nozzle, your needle, or your air cap, but otherwise going to handle it. Um, another thing I haven't mentioned yet, this gun can actually spray both pressure feed and siphon feed. Has the ability to do both. Once again, you just got to get it set up, your right air cap, and it'll do either style you want. So kind of those are the three main um, applications I like for this gun. You know, if you're a production shop, um, this is a great gun for be for beginners or apprentices because obviously they still have to learn how to really take care of equipment. So instead of running through more expensive guns, it's a good one for them to start with. If you're a serious do-it-yourselfer or hobbyist that likes nice high-end stuff, this is assembled in the United States. This is a high-quality piece. It's a trusted name brand, CA Technologies. Um, you know, better than buying some... Um, made in china stuff from big box stores and i'll just leave it at that so you know though that's kind of where i am on this gun um you know and that's how i feel about it it's a decent gun for the cost you know if um you know if you're used to using more high-end guns like saddles or banks this probably isn't the gun that you'll switch to yourself um but like i said if you have some of the applications i mentioned earlier that would be great for that reason um, it's a great gun. It's very rugged, very affordable, and sprays a ton of different materials, so that's a plus. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy out there.